These are probably the last keyboard stabilizers you will ever need. These are the Stabies, designed by the renowned Zambumon in collaboration with AE Bot. Now, what makes these stabilizers particularly interesting is the fact that they have very tight tolerances, so there's very little chance for it to tick or rattle when it is mounted on a keyboard. If you're interested to pick this up, this is our review of the Stabies. There are two distinct variants of the Stabies. The all-black model has a nylon housing, while the clear model has a polycarbonate housing instead. We got the Stabies from Keyboard Treehouse based in Australia for $22 US each, which comes with 6 sets of stems and housing for the stabilizer, 5 2U wires, a 6.25U wire for the spacebar, as well as another 7U wire if you need a longer spacebar. And that's what you need to know about the Stabies. So the big question is, how do they perform? Well, take a listen for yourself as we compare both the nylon and polycarbonate models completely stock against an equally stock Dura V2 and a looped and holy modded C3 stab. As you guys can hear for yourself in that test, these stabies still sound very, very good even though it is completely unlooped. This is especially the case when it's compared to the unlooped Duroc V2 where it is very, very rattly and you can hear every single tick that the spacebar has, for example. Of course, the C3 stab sounds the best because it is looped as well as holy modded. But once these stabies are looped and I don't even need to holy mod it, I am and very confident that it will sound just as good as the C3 steps. Evidently, the tight tolerances of these stabies really can eliminate wire rattling or any sort of ticking when it is mounted on a keyboard. If you're curious to hear just how these stabies will perform once they are looped, stay tuned for a future video for that. Anyway, going back to the stabies, there are actually quite a few differences between the nylon and polycarbonate model aside from the fact that they look a little bit different. The all-black nylon model feels like a, well, like a nylon stabilizer in the sense that it feels a little bit tighter but not quite as smooth as the polycarbonate version. Aside from that, the sound profile of the nylon version is also a little bit deeper than the higher pitch polycarbonate or clear stabies. Aside from that, because of the tight tolerances of the stabies, the stem has a tendency to get stuck to the housing of the stabilizer, so you need to make sure that it is lined up properly before you install it onto the keyboard. But overall, I am very, very happy with the stabies. I think it is the best keyboard stabilizer that I have ever tried right now, and there are a lot more interesting players coming up, but at the moment, the stabies is the one that is available right now in the market, so these are the best, in my opinion, at this very moment. That being said, it is actually sold out right now on Keyboard Treehouse, but you can fill out the pre-order form with AE Bots, which we will link in the description box down below. If you're in the US, you'll also be very happy to know that Canon Keys will also be carrying the Stabies, but only the nylon model, as far as we know. That is our review of these very, very good Stabies stabilizers. As usual, we will leave you guys with a sound test of the stabilizers on the Keychron Q1 with looped and film SP star switches. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel and nextshift.com.